What up YouTube, it's God of Lightning 5 here, and today I am about to review my brand new iPod Touch. Hopefully you saw my unboxing video of it, and this is one of the iPods, or the iPod Touch we have all have been pretty much been waiting for. Specifically because of the camera. Because I know I've, like, the pre past few years I've been hearing kids, uh, or people around talking about how much they've wanted a camera on the iTouch without uh, having an iPhone, and here it is, we finally have the i. Uh, the EyeSight camera. Well, this one has two cameras. One right here for taking uh, video shots. And this one on the front, it's right here in the center, is for FaceTime chatting, which I'm really happy that Apple included into an iPod for all us uh, people who can't afford the iPhone 4G. But let's get started. Well, what I'm really impressed with this iPod is it has a lot uh, better quality speakers, I've uh, noticed, because in my previous iPod, the second gen, it had like not as good speakers without headphones, but this one has really high quality speakers. I mean, I'll just play a preview of a song. Uh, Big Gun by ACDC. I know that wasn't a big preview, but yeah, there's pretty bit much been a bigger improvement on the speakers. Um, uh, I can also have wallpapers on this because of the iPhone uh, OS 4.1, which is the current operating system for the iPhone or iPod Touch. Uh, it supports wallpapers, um, multitasking with Pandora. See if we open up Pandora, which is an internet radio. Very good app. Uh, I can have any radio station. This one will have the Disturbed radio station. It won't just play the band Disturbed, but it'll play um, uh, like any band like Disturbed. Like it could play. In Flames or any metal band like Disturbed. So you can see I can multitask. I press the home screen and look, it still plays because in the previous iPod, um, or if you don't have the third iPod or this current iPod, and if you have like anything lower, like the second gen or the first one, that will not support multitasking. So that's something really good that Apple included in there. So if we hit that back up. Uh, we will quit out on uh, Pandora. Oops. Um, you can uh, lock your iPod in portrait mode, so that way, like, if you shake or when you turn it to the side, it won't tilt. Um, that was also a really good thing. Um, now, here is the camera. Now, I can have two cameras. I can be facing the front camera. See, look, uh pretty much facing me. See that iPod? It's an HD camera and I can also have a thing called places and if I press this little button right here that'll just uh, make the thing onto the back even though that I already had uh, the previous thing because what I previously had was even though you can't really tell the difference is if I press this button again with the camera uh, if I could even get there it's just uh, filming my MacBook, so I can switch the camera either way now. So that's pretty cool. And um, I'm sorry about the way I'm holding this iPod, it's just that I don't have a real video camera, so I should have one soon. But for now, yeah. Uh, let's see, and the one thing we've all been waiting for on, well, that we can do now is called FaceTime. So I have a special viewer in called iAppleGeek coming in, and let's see how he's doing. We'll FaceTime him, and these people can, and it's uh, supported with people who have iPhone or both iPods for this. You don't have to have, like, the, the same device to do FaceTime. So I'll wait for him. Wait for him to accept. What's up, guys? This is iAppleGeek100 here. Uh, you can see that this is the, uh, right here is how Hello, FaceTime's God, working. Five. What? Hello, God, Lightning 5. Hi. So, yeah, um, you can multitask with, uh, uh, FaceTime. I can press the home screen, but the video on his side will pause, but I can go back to it. But I'm pausing, so he can't see me moving, so it'll take a still image of what was last, like, showing me in action, uh, like, me moving. But, yeah, go back to that. That's FaceTiming for the new um, iPod Touch. And uh, that was just a short preview of I, uh, of uh, FaceTiming, so you could say goodbye to everyone. Bye, guys. So uh, we'll quit that out. And 
Uh, one thing I also like to do is uh, on my iPod is the photos. Like now I can have places of where my photos were taken. So you can see that after I taken two photos, they were that's where it drops the location. Which so I can pretty much do what iPhone OS 4 does on like every feature that it that had it on the iPhone 3GS. Because if you had the iPhone 3G, it won't support any of those. But yeah. Uh, this wasn't a big, long review of the iPod Touch, but, uh, yeah, I wanted to show you its new features, and, uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, see you guys next time.